On September 3, 1964, the Beatles played their only shows here in Indiana. John, Paul, George, and Ringo taking the stage at the Coliseum in front of a crowd of screaming fans. And tonight, the Beatles were back. In a special event at the State Fairgrounds, fans got the chance to hear the original audio from that concert six decades ago. Then the tribute band 1964 recreated the set list. And we talked with a woman tonight who, thanks to her dad, will always have a connection with the Fab Four. My name is Karen Balich. Um, I'm at the Indiana State Fair today to celebrate the Beatles being here 60 years ago. My father, Jack Marks, was one of the state policemen that was protecting the entertainment that year. Ringo was sitting out at the pool after the concert and he couldn't sleep, so my dad and a couple other state policemen asked him if they'd like you'd like to see the city. They would drive him around the city and he said he would. So it got to be early morning and he brought him out to our house. When I looked out the window, I said to my brothers, I think dad brought home a beetle because he had the bowl haircut and the suit. He still was wearing the suit from the, the concert. In the Indianapolis Star the next morning, there was early morning visit by Ringo, Shakes Up Trooper's daughter. My dad wouldn't let them put our names in the, the newspaper article, so that's why no one knew. Before he left, he gave me his autograph and he kissed me on the cheek. And I have said ever since then that Ringo was the first boy to ever kiss me. I just think it's so special that my dad would share Ringo with his family. What stars, rock stars, go to somebody's house ever? So it really is special time. Thank you. Great job by photographer Steve Rhodes. And we also got the chance to see this new art piece at the fairgrounds honoring the Beatles. It's by Indiana artist Corey Hyman. It is made with Rubik's cubes. Oh. You got plenty of time to check it out. It's going to have a permanent place inside the Coliseum. That is amazing. <laughs> yeah, and I love that story. That was a great story. <laughs> what a fantastic story that that woman has. You yes. Know, all this time. First kiss by Ringo. First kiss by Ringo Starr. <laughs> and to give all of this some historical context, the Beatles landed in New York in February of 64. That's also when they did those famous performances on the Ed Sullivan Show. So this concert here in our city was pretty early in their tour during that first year they came to the United States. Crazy. Yeah.